Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about how was the Kai conference in Hamburg. Since this YouTube channel is not watched by only the researchers, hence I'm going to talk about what is Kai. So Kai is a computer human interaction conference this year held in Hamburg, Germany. Hamburg is one of the famous city for fishing or some places that are nearby sea which I already explained in the before video or previous video so you could maybe watch if you're interested in Hamburg Luckily I was doing a PhD student in Germany and able to join Hamburg uh, so easily The Kai conference is really big in my major and I, it was my first time going on-site and hence I wanted to make a video of the summary so that my colleagues or my surrounded uh, people who's not joined Kai yet might be interested to join next time. So I asked the chair about the Kai conference uh, capacity or how many people came. The chair told me that 4,000 people uh, in approximate has been arrived to the conference, which is amazing. I've never been to a conference that are big as much as Kai before and hence was surprisingly a surprise the one the of surprise when i see a lot of people there in the conference there's a big center uh, sorry big stage where people all gather in the room and listen to the chair's talk or the keynote talks that was like just like a hollywood you know uh, ceremony or some, something like that where where uh, some interesting performance or way of showing uh, was there and so many researchers seems to be interested or entertained since there's a lot of sessions or uh, sorry there's a lot of people coming there are lots of sessions ongoing in, in the same time so basically every day or every uh, every time there is a 20 session uh, in approximate has been parallel working uh, sorry, parallelly doing the presentation. Each session has different topics like education and learning using computer human interactions or security or this kind of other sessions such as um, robotics related or visualization approaches and so on. There are so many things. What I was surprised is that since there's a 20 sessions in parallel, people are so difficult to join to all the sessions and hence they were checking which sessions or which uh, presentation they want to join and then once they join some presentation and it's done they go to the other room and then try to join the uh, presentation that they wanted to join other than the one he's listening before this was so surprising since uh, since there's a 20 sessions uh, people are running around or trying to be in the time on time to the next presentation they want to hear and in the end like so many people are wandering around I would say the conference has been held for five to six days in total and uh, including workshops and since there's plenty of times there was a lot of networking occur uh, between researchers. I heard from people who joined uh, the Kai conference previously that uh, Kai is really typical conference where they try to do the networking. Uh, so what I heard is like since they met people in Kai they asked the exchange student uh, exchange opportunity uh, to ask to the other researcher whether their student in the lab to join to the other lab or doing some collaborative works such as working in the same field but collecting data from different country or making some devices that um, one of the university has specialization and other university has specialization and they try to combine or merge to implement new things so I was totally surprised how people are doing some opinions sharing or comments or talking to each other in the coffee space with the coffee of course, with the snacks of course. Um, that was just amazing. And one thing I actually thought after joining this conference is that on-site has huge 
um, impact. So I would say the after COVID-19, people are started to work hybrid or even remote only. Um, now in 2023, since COVID has been reduced, or I would say people are getting more familiar, and there's also um, kind of prevention of vaccine or um, some people are have some technique to cure, uh, and hence now on-site has been increasing for the opportunity to do this kind of conference, and I think this is very huge. Like. I see some cases where they have used some kind of online tools, uh, not the online video meeting um, tools like Zoom or Google Meet. There are some kind of avatar approaches where you can walk and talk to people. Yes, that was a kind of amazing uh, thing that we could freely talk to many people. <clears throat> Although the on-site has differences such as uh, we could see the <clears throat> how people are talking in the surroundings and also since we are eating same thing let's say um, we are having more synergies uh, while we are talking um, rather than just talking with the uh, different things in your house let's say there was a time where I uh, when I eat a croissant with the uh, person who I've never met before I had a chance to, you know, fa first say like, I've never come to Kai and this croissant was delicious and you know, something you can easily do some ice breaking. That is something different from online situation, I would say. And that was so amazing. One of the concern I thought was that uh, there was a huge connection between the each continent, such as Chinese or Korean or German people, United States and Japan, of course. Um, that was also a fun thing to see. So the group was existing with the culture. So each people could be confident on talking to their mother tongue languages because I saw some students from master students or uh, PhD students. Uh, most most likely they can speak English, but some are not so fluent. And since they have some opportunity to talk to the, the mother tongue language researchers, they have little low barriers to communicate about computer science. Ah, sorry, computer human interaction sections uh, related talk. Uh, so it was just amazing. So why I made this video is just to share the uh, experience about this conference and I wish I could join uh, next time uh, since I found it that this conference made lots of people motivated on working on this field which is enormously getting huge of course and also it makes me think of what I should do and what our group should do and that that's just nice to have as an opportunity to think of yourself and think of our friends or team yeah great so yeah if anyone have joined Kai before or if anyone have not joined the Kai or didn't know how international conference will be like maybe you guys uh, have some good inspiration or uh, of the conference so yeah I hope this video will think of yourself maybe you could join or yeah you could co have conversation about the conference with your friends with this video of course so yeah, thank you. I just wanted to share the experience. It's my, it's it's for myself also because I can watch this video later on in the future and understand what I was thinking in the first join of the biggest conference. Yeah, glad to see you all in the comment, I would say. I hope, I hope. And yeah, please give me a like button if you think this video was wise and also some video sharing if you want and of course subscription is always well. so yeah
So yeah, thank you so much. Did I speak in English? Sorry for Japanese speakers, but there is a subtitle、uh, below, I guess. So yeah, I think you still enjoy. Yeah. So see you in the next video, and I hope you guys are going well after going back from conference. Bye. Bye.